Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a bit of Snyder Cut news. Now I know you guys might be thinking, uh, Cole, uh, the Snyder Cut came out last week. How, how can there be Snyder Cut news? Well, it's actually an alternate cut of the movie. I know that sounds weird, but let me explain. So, uh, you might remember, um, uh, back... Uh, when the second trailer technically, but it was really just a black and white version of the first trailer came out because of rights difficulties uh, It was in black and white uh, And a lot of people were like does this mean the movies gonna be in black and white? What's the deal? And let me explain quickly essentially uh, When Zack Snyder left Justice League uh, He did have an assembly cut of the movie that was essentially the version that we see on screen but without uh, proper sound mixing without CGI things like that um, without proper color grading uh, and it was also in black and white so he left and he had that copy that he could watch and he could show to people uh, but he didn't have like a full version of the movie that we see today and so because he lived with that version of the movie for so long he's been kind of teasing this idea of releasing an alternate version of the Snyder Cut that's in black and white it'll still have the visual effects but it'll be in black and white and uh, it's going to be called uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League Justice is Grey um, and it basically it was announced uh, that it will be coming to HBO Max sometime soon so we're probably looking at the next couple months but uh, we're not really sure uh, he did refer to it as a charity um, cut i.e. Uh, the views and the money that comes with the cut uh, will be donated like the money will be donated to charity of some kind, probably mental health charity because it is for his daughter Autumn who uh, committed suicide. So, uh, great cause. Uh, if you haven't seen it or just are looking to rewatch it, uh, you can rewatch it there. And there is an incentive. Uh, now, if you remember back when Jared Leto, uh, the first pictures of him coming out, uh, of him being uh, the Joker in the Snyder Cut, when they were coming out, uh, the pictures of him initially were him in this white uh, Arkham Asylum kind of uh, um, uh, uniform where like he was uh, clearly in some kind of solitary confinement cell. Uh, and it was basically these pictures came out and then the article talking about it said, oh yeah, he'll also have another look in the film where he has all these police badges on uh, and that'll be in the nightmare scene. Well, if you watch the Snyder Cut, that first uh, look for the Joker with uh, that that wardrobe of him being in Arkham, uh, and what the um, what the article said was him as acting as a ghost of Christmas future for Batman. Uh, does that scene doesn't show up in the Snyder Cut? It was actually cut from the movie, but the Justice is Gray scene, the Justice in Gray uh, cut. Let me let me say it like that. Uh, will actually have that scene in it, so that is. Uh, like, it's just a very small change, but it is a little bit of an incentive to be able to see that scene in there as well. I don't know if it's going to be replacing the nightmare scene or if it's just going to be something added on as well. If it's going to be an extension of that scene, who knows? And it does make sense. I mean, if you look at those images, all of them were in black and white. So maybe that scene works best in black and white. Um, personally, I think the black and white version of the movie is clearly going to be superior not only because of that but also because the black and white superman suit won't be there and that that literally had no reason to be in the movie from my perspective at least i don't know but yeah what do you guys think of this are, are you going to see the uh justice is gray cut of the snyder cut um when it comes out which we don't know when but again probably in a few months if, if i had to guess but that's nothing official uh they did release a teaser for it uh, you might you might be thinking what's all this hullabaloo? It's literally like you just uh, switch a filter and now it's in black and white. It's not exactly that. You know they do have to do certain things to the picture to make it look good instead of just being black and white. Uh, do some coloring uh, with it. But uh, other than that, yeah, it it is it's nothing huge. But if you want to support the charity, see that extra scene. If you haven't seen the Snyder Cut yet and uh, just see it as something you're gonna see at some point but aren't immediately going to watch it uh, or you're like saying uh, you know what maybe I want to rewatch the Snyder Cut soon maybe hold off until that cut comes out because again 
uh, it, the, uh, it will be going to charity, as far as uh, I can tell from what has been released so far. Uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe for daily videos on the franchises you love, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.